I use this Bosch TDD40 to build an actual power hammer from scratch. Heavy steel, precision shafts, bearing housings, you name it. Now as a surgeon, accuracy isn't optional. There's no room for sloppy cuts or guesswork in an operating room. And honestly, it's the same thing here. So after five years of drilling steel with this little bench top machine, the question is, can the PDB40 really deliver the kind of precision I would trust in a surgical setting, even on something as insane as a power hammer? Now I bought this drill press five years ago for one reason, to build a power hammer from scratch. Thick steel plates, brackets, shafts, everything. Basically a Frankenstein operation. And this little PDB40 was my surgical assistant. Let's start with the build quality. No, it's not industrial. It's not a floor standing monster. But for a bench top drill press after five years, it still runs like a calm patient on anesthesia. The assembly was extremely easy. There's no major play in the quill. The column is straight and the table holds up. I've drilled mild steel, stainless, thick brackets, basically everything, except for bone. Can see some damage in the table, which is a user error, of course. But, I mean, it still holds up good. As you can see, the previous drill chuck has some major damage. This is because of uh, user error, this one as well. I tried to, I'm not gonna go into details, but yep, pretty stupid error. For me, this is where the PDB40 shines, the controls. It gives you a lot of control. First off, you got the digital RPM display. Clear, accurate, and instant. When you switch from stainless to mild steel or aluminum, wood, you name it, it's like changing tools in an operating room. Precise and fast. On the side, you have the setting for the transmission. There's a two-speed transmission, one for high RPM and one for low, which gives you more torque. You will use both of them, trust me. The machine comes with an electronic constant speed control, which is huge. Now, no matter how much pressure you apply, it will keep the RPM steady, like a surgeon, keeping steady pressure on a bleeding. Laser crosshair, it's a bit weak for me, not perfect. Honestly, I don't really use it, but it's there. Furthermore, there's a depth stop. This is an amazing for repeat operation. Set it once, drill 50 identical holes. Setup is pretty easy. You just open this lever, you adjust it and fasten it. There's also a possibility to measure the depth electronically, which honestly I use more often than the depth stop itself. That's just what I prefer. Now for the accuracy. The reason I bought this instead of a cheap belt-driven drill press. I've used it for precision fit holes. Trust me, bearings, bushings, you name it. It hits the mark every time. This thing drills straighter than medical students on their first day. I'm not kidding. Now about the limitations, what this thing can't do. Now it's not perfect, let's be honest. It's a benchtop drill press for a cheap price. It has its limits. Maximum bit you will fit is a 13 millimeter. You will not be able to use it for industrial workloads. I mean, if you push it like an hydraulic press, you will hear it complain. Trust me, I've tried. Also, the problem is the height of the drill. I mean, it's a bench shop drill press. You can't expect more from this kind of product, but if you need to drill something and you need the clearance, then this bench top drill press is not your go-to guy. The clamping mechanism was good in the beginning, but over time it has worn out. And right now, uh, drilling anything in steel is completely off the table. Uh, wood, it can still work but the aging of the clamping mechanism over these five years is very evident uh, and that is for sure one of the weaker points. Now, I've read a lot of complaints about there's a wheel instead to use to control it. For me, it has never been an issue. I can see why some would prefer the old style over the wheel, uh, but it has worked out fine for me and it does give you a lot of control. Uh, so for me, it's no issue whatsoever. So, can you actually build a power hammer with a PDB40? Yes, but only if you respect the machine. I use this drill press for every single hole in this build. Every single hole. And the accuracy is good enough for a working condition power hammer. It handled it consistently, accurately, without dying on the operating table. Here's the complete surgical diagnosis. It is extremely accurate. It has a fantastic RPM control. It's good for steel, good for wood, perfect for precision builds. For me, over five years of use, it is very reliable. Now, on the other hand, it is not for industrial use. It is weaker. The laser for me, 
is optimistic. Uh, the clamping mechanism has worn out and the height of the machine gives its limitations. But that is the same for every bench top drill press. Is it worth it? 100%. For that price, for me, five years of use, it has been 100% worth it. I've even built this power hammer with it. The only reason for me why you shouldn't buy it is if you need the height clearance or if you need to drill bigger holes than this can accommodate. Otherwise, if you don't need it, then this drill press is a very, very good buy. If you're a hobbyist, a metal worker, or a builder who likes over-engineering your projects, the PDB40 is a surprisingly capable surgical assistant. I'm Chris, the steel surgeon. If you enjoyed this review, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and let me know which tool should go to the OR next.